Khan is back with another video. This time preseason is literally here. We have seen it already come into the thing, and there's no glitches, so we can all enjoy preseason now. And it's not a copy paste event, since if you guys remember, I did say that if it were to be a copy paste event, I would quit FIFA Mobile. This is a promise I gave to myself before the event came out. And I am going to keep that promise. So I'm not gonna quit FIFA Mobile. They got lucky. They got lucky this time. They didn't lose another player. Oh! How did he smash that one in? Kumin scored two unusual goals today. One was the back heel from no angle, and the other one is this. He's scoring finesse shots like it's too easy. So the basic event is you get energy, then you spend that energy on these games inside of these books, which have three chapters each. In total, there are three books or nine chapters. You have to finish, which you can finish all of them. And the top rewards in the last chapter are 102 Nicholas Otomendi, 107 Thiago Silva, 108 ZH, who's a actually who is one of the players you will get next season as well, since he's gonna be those uh, now and later uh, players. He's gonna be one of the now and later players, and the rest of the now and later players are also really cool. But the the best thing about this game now is that they have a a lower star pass, which is only 15 days anymore. It's only 15 days. It's not as many as it used to be but I need to score a brace that means I need to score one goal with I need to score one goal with Gomez then it will be counted as a brace so let's just score a goal with Gomez the cards which are free to play include he's been scoring today a lot the free to play cards, the best card you have is ZH. You have Kolarov, which is like a 107. Kolarov is not bad card either. He is actually one of the top cards. I'm pretty sure he'll be end game easily. But the one thing which is kind of bad and disturbing and which is gonna put a debate is to get him or not is because of his boost it's literally related to his boost and yes i know he has gone like stats but i don't think he can i don't think i think if he had a decent boost he would have been able to do even more than just score a decent goal with left back like he would have been even better if he had a, a better boost like like there's so many cards which have better boost but not as good stats but they might actually win against him and i scored two goals with gomez already so my, this challenge is complete and you have to finish every uh, boss to get the player this one is uh, 898 striker next one will be different guaranteed they're not making a comeback since uh, my defenders are really good, I just need to get Thiago. I don't really care about Nicholas Otamendi. Otamendi I'll just sell, but Thiago I'm gonna keep. Because one, he's really good. And the stats see, he's basically a perfect card. Boom, 5-1. So, what are the other chapters? So, this was the first chapter. You can basically do these daily challenges which don't really help you too much. And don't worry, you can finish all of the books. You can finish all three books uh, free to play. I wish uh, Luis Suarez was free to play. But you can't get the 1 or 10 Luis Suarez looking insane godlike card. That is one card you can't get sadly i would love to get him 
but you sadly can't. The best card you can, the best you can do is one of so many cards. Like literally, there's so many cards. I just, it just goes out of my head that fast. There's one he Chang or whatever his name is. Let us test him against Gomez and start wise. Better pace, except that nothing else is better. Only better pace. I think I'll just transfer rank if I can. And I did pull William somehow. My goalkeeper will be changed probably this time. Okay, if you haven't seen the star pass yet, you should since it has literally insane rewards right now. You get 90 per... You get 90 now. That's a ton. I'll, I basically mean a lot. Wait, this doesn't have a amount you can use it in? That's cool. That's nice. That there's no like fixed amount of times you can do it. That's pretty cool. So that's basically literally it for the event. Which is really cool event. And it's not copy paste. So I will keep and play this. So you guys might want to see what the card will look like. If you still haven't played it for some reason. Which you should. This is gonna be Nicholas Ottoman. With what? Oh my god. Wait. Oh, I actually didn't check all of them. So I don't. I'm also kind of surprised. Pianic definitely gonna take him. I think he'll fit in my team perfectly. Thiago Silva 100% coming in my team. Definitely a good card. And the big boy, the big boy himself, ZH. He's a right mid, which makes it even better. He has flip flap, flare, long shot taker, playmaker, outside full shot. The only bad thing is that his boost is not really good, though. Agility, like, he'll be way more agile. Agil agility will increase a lot, which is good, I guess. These three are some big boys. Like, I literally did not know you're gonna get Pianic here. But, like, I those three cards work perfectly in my team. Since I need all of them, and these that's the reason that's the main reason this is even an event. The event is about making your overall really high up for the next season, so you get better rewards. Yeah, Automendi is only 101, which is kind of low. Automendi 103, Volind, whatever his name is. Okay, that's all the cards, and bye.